Hi, my name is Frederick. I live in Birmingham, Michigan. It's a suburb of Detroit. My grandparents were Republicans, my parents were Republicans, and I myself was Republican. When I was a senior in high school, I voted for Ronald Reagan. I voted for him a second time four years later. I voted for the first George Bush both times. I voted for the second George Bush both times. Uh, there was no way I could have brought myself to vote for Bill Clinton. At some point prior to President Obama's election, it seemed that the Republican Party had been slowly straying from me and from my core principles. It seemed to me that they were starting to wink, or I was starting to notice this sort of winking at prejudice. Um, it seemed to me that there was an anti-intellectual component, almost a pride in not caring about facts, not caring about science, not caring about logic. And I really struggled with that. It, it almost seemed to me that it wanted to be the dumb guy party, which was very difficult for me to come to terms with. The culmination of this was the candidacy of Donald Trump. He's sort of the ultimate guy who traffics in conspiracy theories, who winks at racism, more than winks at racism, who doesn't care about facts. It was the ultimate uh, culmination of what this slow slide that I had seen happen in the Republican Party, and I wanted nothing to do with it. I had never been a fan of Hillary Clinton's, but I had no problem at all voting for her. The comparison between her and her competence and Donald Trump and his other, utter incompetence and his racism and his anti-intellectualism was, it was just no contest for me. When he was elected, I was shocked. And I have to admit that I felt more than a little despair. But when I got a grip of myself, I realized that, well, this is an office that many, many people had, many of our prior presidents had grown into. And surely the same would happen with Donald Trump. I could not have been more wrong. He has not grown into the presidency. All he has done is corrupt the presidency and lower it. He has debased the presidency of the United States. And then I have watched the Republicans in office and watched with dismay as not a single one of them, except perhaps Mitt Romney, has shown even the slightest bit of a backbone. All of them are craven, and all of them are a profound disappointment. I will never vote for a Republican again, as long as I live. The party has not earned the right to my vote. I hope that the Republican Party will come back with new people who care about core values, the core values that I care about, but I won't hold my breath. For me, in this election in November, it is absolutely no contest. There is no circumstance in which I would ever vote for Donald J. Trump. The way he gaslights us, the way he's diminished the presidency, the way he has pitted one American apart from another, the way he has made us a laughing stock, the way he has separated us from our tried and true allies around the world. It's all appalling. For me, it will be easy. I will easily and happily cast my vote for Joe Biden, and I encourage all of my former Republican friends and colleagues and family members to do the same.